Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today, we are looking at the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. This is the chapter in which uh, Pentecost um, is celebrated by the Jewish people, and that is the coming of the Holy Spirit into all believers. And Peter has this opportunity to preach a sermon that brings people to that point of receiving Jesus as their Savior and Lord and uh, being um, welcomed into God's family. And he actually had the opportunity to have thousands of people come to faith in Jesus on that one day. And at the end of Peter's sermon, he lays it out for them. And in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Peter says, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peter just kind of spells out what is the process for us coming to faith in Jesus. It starts off with repenting of our sins. Repent is this, you know, fancy name, fancy word for basically acknowledging that you are a sinner, that you need a forgiveness from a savior, someone to save you, that even in your own standards, you're not good enough. And so you come and repent and repent means I'm going to stop going that way and I'm going to start going God's way. So it's a choice of saying, no, this is the end point of that life, the beginning of a new life. So you repent of our sins. Um, baptism, as a believer, baptism is this expression of my commitment that I'm making to Jesus. Saying, I am choosing to follow Jesus and make him my Savior, receive that forgiveness. And he's my Savior, but also that he's my Lord, that he is the one leading me, that I am committing myself publicly to him and binding myself with the family of God. And then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When we come to God and we give him our life, we say, I'm a sinner. I believe that the answer is in Jesus and that through Jesus I can be forgiven and I'm giving my life to him and I'm choosing to follow Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Then God comes into us. He dwells within us in the form of the Holy Spirit. And then inside us, he starts to do the transformation stuff of changing those things that are needing to be changed in our life. Too many people get that mixed up. They think, I got to get my act together. I got to straighten myself up. I got to stop doing certain things and start doing others. And then God will accept me. And that's the opposite. Instead, we come just as we are. And we say, I messed up. I'm choosing with your help, God, to stop going that way, start going your way. And then as we give our life to God, he comes and indwells us in the form of the Holy Spirit to guide us and to correct us and to give us those clear directions, help us to understand scripture and so many other things that the Holy Spirit does in the life of a believer. Have you made that choice? Have you taken that step of admitting your need, believing that Jesus is the answer, and then committing your life to Christ? That's the beginning of an amazing life, as Jesus said, an abundant life, life to the full. I hope you will. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you for the gift of salvation, the gift of being adopted into your family, the gift of a new life with you within us, leading and guiding us and empowering us to live the life that only you can help us to do. God, I pray for those listening who may not have made that step, that they would choose to receive the forgiveness as they repent of their sins, as they say, I'm going to go God's way instead of my own, and that Jesus is the answer, and then choosing and committing to follow you with all their life. And God, for those who do that, we thank you for the promise that you will come and dwell within each believer, and that your presence within us will empower us to live the life that you called us to live and to guide us in the way we should go. We thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. So once again, Peter replied to them and replied to each of us. Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive 
the gift of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you have done that or that you will do that right now. And if I can be of an encouragement or help, just reach out to me. I'd love to talk you through this and celebrate this new life that you have in Christ. God bless and have a wonderful day.